Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are inside of Microsoft Loop and I have spent most of my days inside of this app. I am not going to switch apps, but I use this uh, a lot at work or I actually use the Microsoft ecosystem a lot at work and having something like Microsoft Loop makes my life a lot easier. And today I'm going to show you how this works and whether or not it can actually be a Notion competitor. So it has a lot of different templates, not as much as many of the other note-taking apps, but you could create a Kanban board, for example, if you wanted to. Um, or you could create problem uh, framing, issue tracking, and so on. But I am going to create my own new page and we will call this social media dashboard uh, dashboard and the thing about microsoft loop is that it works a little bit like some of the note-taking apps we are used to but not uh <laughs> not uh totally like the note-taking apps we are used to so you can use backslash to actually create things uh, whether that be a date or uh, a table or whatever you want to q a session progress tracker and task list this task list template is actually really really good but let's start off with a table this is actually what in many other apps is called a database. This works quite similarly to a database. And you can hide different columns and you can sort them. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to actually make uh, this um, work like in Notion where you can have filtered views. That is something they should probably create. And there are a lot of other things. You could create a checklist, a bulleted list, or even a callout a divider, which is really good. Uh, and we can check out the task list template, which is, again, really good. I could assign myself to different tasks. I could give it a due date. Um, and there are a lot of different options here. I like the fact that when you assign it a due date, it says how many days are left until something is due, which is a thing I would like many other apps to have. Um, the columns are quite uh, basic. You can change the type uh, to a number, a date, a person, voting, or a label, and you can create your own label groups. Uh, so you could add the progress bar, for example, or you could create your own new uh, new label uh, group. So I will call this social media and um, we can use Facebook uh, and YouTube here just as an example. And I could choose here whether or not this is a YouTube video or a Facebook post. And I like the fact that you can see here what uh, how many are actually of the different labels. That is also really, really cool. Uh, it has basic markdown functionality, uh, which I know a lot of people do like. So you could use markdown inside of this. It has comments as well. So you could actually go on and heart this or you could give it different emojis. I have no clue how you can actually remove those emojis, but you can add them at least. You have um, uh, you have a way to create new pages, so I could create a different page. Let's say we are using for you note-taking nerds out there, we can use Para. And the way I would probably do this is by creating my different areas. Uh, so now I have created my social media dashboard. Uh, and one thing I've seen with uh, linking to different things is the fact that it takes a little bit of time. So I just recently created this uh, and it takes three, four minutes until I am able to uh, refer to it. But what I would do is actually by uh, just referring to different uh, things here and creating sub pages. 
Uh, and let's say I wanted to create a new page called projects and I had a project ongoing. Uh, we will call this project just for the sake of this video. Uh, we will call it loop video. And I could actually drag this and put this underneath project. So I could have my active projects here and I could have a new page called archived. Uh, I could move this down here and I could move the project into archive once it is done, which is another great thing. And I know that a lot of people like to uh, have a way to, to uh, uh, embed blocks instead of writing the same block or the same thing multiple times. So I'm just going to show you how that works as well. Uh, so let's say I am just going to write something for the sake of this video. Uh, we will create this into a loop component. Uh, and once it is created, we can copy the component. This takes too much time. Uh, and now the link is copied. We will move into our areas and we will paste the link here. So you get the same here and you can edit it from here and it will change in here as well. Uh, so that's another cool feature. I would say that this app can actually be used for personal project management and life management in general as a Notion alternative, but I wouldn't recommend it, at least not now. It has a lot of great uh, functionality, but there is still some time until it is at the level of uh, many of the other note-taking apps we have in this uh in the uh, note-taking space uh, but for work management this is actually quite good so if you're in the work environment like I am where you use the Microsoft ecosystem I would consider using this as uh, a way to manage all of your different projects like you would do in inside of uh, Notion uh, and it is quite easy to learn. That is something that is really good. It fits seamlessly into the Microsoft ecosystem. So I could actually embed different documents inside of here and even different meetings I've had, I could embed them inside of here. Uh, so for a collaborative team, this is quite good. Personal, it has still uh, some way to go. It can be used but it isn't as good as many of the other apps out there on the market. Uh, the only reason I would consider actually using this personally uh, outside of work is the fact that I run my business through the Microsoft ecosystem and um, I would consider moving to something like Loop when I hopefully someday will be able to assemble a team. This would be quite good to work in because you can have everything inside of your SharePoint and your OneDrive. Uh, you could put them into Microsoft Loop. So it has still uh, a way to go until it is at the level of something like Notion and even something like AnyType. But it is a good contender, especially for Teams. So that's my take on Microsoft Loop. If you're interested in a full tutorial, please do comment down below. I have spent hours on this today uh, and trying to learn everything. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.